Okay, let's see what this program has in store for us. I have no idea what the hell they're gonna show us, but hopefully it's interesting. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on this video. Try and hit 11k subs by the end of the year. Let's shoot for that. Pog. But summertime, s summertide scales and tails. I can't speak words, apparently. Also, we're, we're getting two new skins. One's gonna be probably paid, and then... Gyarus is gonna be free. I don't have Nilu, so I do not care. But Scaramouche, Pog, Navia, Pog. <laughs> but here we go. Oh man, I, l I do like the outfits. They're very cute. But let's see. Hello, travelers. Welcome to the version 4.8 special program. <gasps> <laughs> Cute. I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler Lumine. Before we get the ball rolling, let's introduce our other hosts. Yay! Yay! Hello, everyone. My name is Amber Aviles, and I voice Emily, Emily the famous okay. perfumer from Fontaine. So it hey is guys, Emily. My name is Danny Chambers, and I'm the voice of Nilu, a talented Look dancer at from Sumeru. Okay. Yeah! And frog I'm there. Julia Gu, the voice of Kirora, a courier from Inazuma. Oh my so gosh, cute. amazing! <laughs> so uh, I am so happy to have you guys here. Okay, y'all can probably guess why we're all here today. It's time for us to show off a new limited time summer map. Ooh. Oh boy! I can't wait to see what the developers have been cooking up this time. Yes. I haven't even seen the final version. Ooh. Well, that's what the version. I still think the first summer event, for. the second one, well, was the take best look. ones. Yes. But the one with Kai also wasn't bad. But because it had Kai in it, so. Okay, here we go, trailer. Port Oromos is currently organizing a flower exhibition. That strange smell around here. Surround yourself with fragrance for too long and your sense of smell will become dull. Allow yourself to be consumed by your emotions and you lose the ability to think rationally. I'm Emily, a perfumer from Fontaine. Wow, that her voice is very different from her speaking voice, like her voice actress. I'm not rolling for her personally because I'm saving for Natlin. So I hope we get a Natlin teaser <laughs> somewhere in here. The hero from another world, supported by their companions, Whoa. shall restore peace to the world. Oh, the, the chubby paper hamster just. Oh, 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 they're so cute. <laughs> oh, morning, huh? Huh? Hey. <laughs> It wasn't just a dream? <laughs> but this uh, Nekomata friend of yours, she doesn't eat hamsters, does she? <laughs> I remember I was reading a book at the Grand Bazaar. Well, then I woke up dressed like this. Oh, the little. Pi oh, she's actually really cute in that outfit. <laughs> I still have so Nilu. this is what it feels like to ride a toy train. <laughs> Did I see Scarlet? You didn't please Navia. Whoa! Chill! chill. <laughs> Aerial Express moving! Oh. Ooh, that's an adventure and a half. Do all storybook heroes have to work this hard? Whoa, whoa! If you actually expect me to answer them all, we'll be here until the next Inter Darshan Championship. Server, yeah! To find the dragon responsible for this whole mess. Oh shit! <laughs> what the fuck? It's got Moose versus a dragon paper dragon. <laughs> that's interesting. Okay, I'll fuck with it. Sure, man. Cute! It looks cute! I'm really excited that Scaramouche is gonna be in it. Because I should have gotten this skin though! There was rumors of him getting one, now he's not getting one! Ah, oh, come on, man! In the future, surely. He should get one, damn it, that's not fair! That's super not fair. I want Scaramouche to get a new outfit. Navia should have gotten an outfit, man. Well, I mean, she's pretty new. I guess that's why I probably gave it to Nilu and Kiara. Or Kirara, what the fuck her name is. One day we're gonna get a Skarmouche, a Yai, an A skin. One day. When that day is, I don't know. But I'm gonna keep asking for it in surveys. And in a second Kaya hangout, too. <laughs> I'm gonna keep asking until they give it to me. Because <laughs> that's, I think that's how we got the first Kaya outfit and his first hangout. Because I asked in every fucking survey until it fucking happened. So, and here we are. I still haven't done this hangout because I'm scared to do it because I love him too much. <laughs> wow, this is making me feel super ready for some summer adventures. 
So, this is probably the perfect place to show off our new character. Yes! Yeah, oh really? my gosh, yeah. that, that, that was the perfect segue. <laughs> a perfect segue, of course. <laughs> yes, <Cute>. yes. <laughs> All right, let's introduce everyone to one of Fontaine's most renowned perfumers, Emily. Woo! Mm. Oh, Emily isn't just a great perfumer. She's also a pharmacology and botany expert. Cool, good for her. Oh, wait. That no. reminds me. People are Doesn't shitting on her Florian design. I don't think it's a bad design. Emily I think it's fine. She has a true profession, an identity hmm. that stayed a mystery up till now. We'll know once we've learned more about her. Okay. A casual stroll after a meal aids digestion and increases blood circulation. <laughs> so, would you like to join? <laughs> that weapon's pretty cool. I like the. I don't know, it's a cool design. I think she has a fine design. Not, just not for me. Like, she's not, like, for me or Fresh anything. And floral. But I think she's pretty. I'm, I'm excited to learn more about her character. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh. She's so cool. Right? <laughs> I love her shoes. Yes. They're so and, cool. and did you see when she like smells boobs. the perfume? <laughs> oh my gosh. I absolutely love that detail. Yeah. Yes. Girl she's isn't so wearing a bra. Like, she just has those moves. two things covered like, in her titties. So right? beautiful. Yes. Isaka Yoko. I know, right? I don't know that. So, I don't let know me tell you, Japanese Emily is the most renowned perfumer in Fontaine. Ooh. The new products that she releases. I wonder if she, uh, if she if she's a perfumer. What? If she knows uh, that almost. lady from so Lilay, if you want to get your hands on who, one of her perfumes, you know, you know the side quest or the quest I'm talking about, whatever that was. You know what I'm talking about oh. and who I'm talking about. Mm. Emily has another identity on top of her trade as a perfumer. She's a forensic cleaner. Huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. a what? She's the one who cleans up crime scenes after an investigation has oh. been concluded. Oh, she's that's a very cool. experienced cleaner, so she often picks up details and scraps. Actually, of that's really that cool. Other okay. People overlooked. Yeah. Okay. That's oh. Sick. Oh. Okay. So mm -hmm. she's kind of like a forensic examiner. Yeah. You know. Chevrous mentioned it in one of her voice lines. She said that Emily's chemistry knowledge is super helpful I know, for uncovering hidden have clues Chevrous. during investigations. I've never she gotten her in a single role ever. She can tell what type of perfume someone ever. wears and where they've been spending time. Because I didn't roll okay, in the first it, banishing it all makes sense on, now. Which is, I forget how. <laughs> it's because of her forensics work. That also explains how Emily and Chevrous got so close. Uh-huh, absolutely. Forensic cleaning is a lot more dangerous than creating perfumes. Hmm. Emily generally doesn't talk about her other identity in order to avoid retaliation from suspects. Hmm. So most people only know her as a famous perfumer. Oh, okay. Emily's probably been through all sorts of stressful situations. Oh, right. From like high-end venues to gruesome crime scenes. Mm. Ooh, it must take a lot of mental toughness to handle all that. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And her professional experiences contribute to her unique combat style. Yeah, Emily like is a dendroporm arm user. When she unleashes her elemental skill, she creates a Lumidus case that deals AOE dendro damage. Ooh, I bet that skill releases a really nice fragrance. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I know. The Lumidus case is a creation that Emily is really proud Interesting, of. Interesting, we finally got a it dendro fires puffs of character, at though. I was wondering if we never get one. <laughs> which deals dendro damage. Oh. When nearby opponents are affected by the burning reaction, the Lumiduce case will accumulate I don't think this would be too, intervals. too useful in the <laughs> know, right? theater mode. After collecting two cents, the, theater, the, the Lumiduce called? case will be upgraded from that level shit one is hard. to level two. Oh. At level two, the Lumiduce case can fire an extra puff of pure dew. Oh. The damage dealt by the puffs of pure dew will also be increased. Only one Lumidus case created by Emily can exist at a time. Oh, wait, does that mean it's pointless to collect scents once you've already reached level 2, though? <laughs> oh, no, not at all. After Emily's passive talent, Lingering Fragrance has been unlocked. Hmm. The level 2 Lumidus case will release Clear Dew Cologne that scales with every two scents collected. Oh. The cologne will do She's one of those AOE girls who's gonna try to get to nearby you opponents. Like you, okay. you know when you so walk in the mall and you walk past the store and there's only the people enemies selling under them, the burning like, status will like, create oh, scent. Try the and the scent damage and everything. scales with the number of scents out of collected people. by the Lumidus yeah. case. All my exactly. friends just say, no, thank that you. I literally just walk past those people. I do not give After a fuck to give them my time of day. Talents, <laughs> Emily will deal greater damage to Anyone trying to sell me shit in the mall? In the okay. I just field, ignore the fuck out of them. Increases the entire I don't even party's say resistance shit. to burning walk damage. Past them. Oh, okay. Now I understand how Emily's talents can work in a party. Arlequina? So, once you use her Lumiduce huh. case to apply dendro to your enemies, 
you can use a pyro skill with a different character to trigger the burning condition. Mm. Uh-huh. That's exactly right. <laughs> okay. And the Lumiduce case has even more functionalities. Oh. After you've unleashed Emily's yeah, they elemental burst, make it target the Lumiduce the enemies and not like the random thing that's on the other the side, you know? Case on We've the had that happen a few times with characters. This upgraded Lumiduce case will cause Scented Dew to continuously descend onto yeah, nearby still enemies, does that. dealing dendro damage. Yeah. When the level three Lumiduce case Emily here will the do field, the same goddamn thing. A new Lumiduce case will be created. Mm. This case will be at the same level as the one she collected during her burst. Okay, so if a level two Lumiduce case is about to lead the field, then you could unleash Emily's elemental burst to reset its duration. Uh, that way, the level two Lumiduce case will be able to spend even more time on the field. <laughs> I hope Bingo. whoever's pulling for this it girl is like very really excited. Out her kit, Personally, but we should I let travelers skip. experiment with these land. mechanics for themselves. Okay, I think I understand Emily a lot better now that we've learned about her skills. Mm. She transforms scents into perfumes and leaves the world a cleaner place. Yes. Honestly, her skills seem I also to don't like perfumey smells, so I probably wouldn't even get along cleaner. with this chick. Mm. I'd be like, you smell... <laughs> right? Bleh. Exactly. Bleh. Okay, great. Emily <laughs> is an expert with all kinds of scents. strong perfumey smells. I fucking no hate that shit, hope brother. No remain in the shadows while Emily is on the case. She always manages to discover the truth. Ooh, are we going to get the chance oh, to see her yes. forensic cleaner side? Mm. Say yes. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> yes. During Emily's story quest, uh -huh, the Pamum de Ombra chapter, travelers will learn about the mysterious Auguste flower that has appeared what? in Sumeru. Travelers will work with Emily Whoa. to uncover a series of mysteries related to this flower and expose the truth once and for all. Ooh, so oh, exciting! I like her in-game model. It's really cute, though. <laughs> I know. You will have to leave <laughs> travelers to uncover the details for themselves. Oh. In the meantime, I have mm. some other information to share. <gasps> oh, well, what is it? Any? The upcoming event wishes, of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> Show it to us. Kave, put them in on the banner! In the first phase of version 4.8, <laughs> okay, travelers can look Milo, forward to returning course. event wishes from Navia oh, yeah, and Milo. Be sure to check them out if you're interested. <laughs> and in the second phase of version 4.8, okay, no, we'll have <laughs> event wishes for Emily and Yelon. That's so random! Why not Skarmouche? Yelon's not even here! Oh, Alright, okay. That is a pretty weapon. That was a lot of information. Information just now, so let's take a break <laughs> for my sake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. It's also the right time to show the second redemption code, anyway. Yay! Okay, <laughs> we will see you soon, travelers. Okay, <laughs> so nice. I'm, why Yalon? <laughs> like, she's not even in the event. Oh, that's cute art. But why the fuck Yalon <laughs> of all people? Why not Scar? Didn't what thing and didn't when did he get his rerun? Didn't he just get one? So I guess maybe that's why, but it's still random, you know? It's just like, yay launch. Slap her there. Oh, <laughs> you know, there she is. Again, easy skip. I have Navia's weapon. I got Navia. I'm good. Don't need Nilu. Don't need Emily. Don't need Yalon. I'm saving for Natlin. This is a save patch. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Easy save. But if you guys are rolling for Emily, I hope you get it. But her boobs do go crazy. That girl, I'm telling you, that girl is not wearing a bra. <laughs> she's just wearing those two little flaps over her titties. And uh, she's very confident that her titties ain't being seen through them. <laughs> Which, you know, good for her, but... <laughs> Ooh, it looks like we're headed to a new place. And if we're headed to a beautiful location, then it's only fitting to wear a beautiful outfit. Uh, yes, exactly. You are so right. And <laughs> Nilu and Kirara will get new outfits in version 4.8. Yep. Cool. Yes! <laughs> I don't have Nilu. Oh, so but... I'm so ready. So ready. Oh, okay. Let's start off with Nilu. I took a good look earlier, and I have to say, it's totally awesome. <laughs> it is a cute outfit. I have outfit. to share it with y'all in more detail. Okay, look, uh, take a look, take a look, take a look. It's cute. I do like it. It's very cute. Come with me on a fairy tale journey. <laughs> I present to you a gift from the forest. She can't do that. <laughs> You're not Farina. Okay. Oh 
my god. Oh, that live she looks really so pretty beautiful. Too. She's so she gorgeous. So like, look at all the flowers beautiful. and like the, the skirt being petals. Yes. Oh my yes. gosh. Yes. yes. Oh my god. It kind of gives Kokomi oh. vibes, just a little bit. Uh, it, it really suits like, her. Like, you think? Kokomi. Yes. It's, oh, it just shows off her beauty even more, and I'm so happy. Oh, <laughs> there's, there's also a really cool story behind this outfit. Does everyone remember the title of the new version? Yeah, Summertide Scales and Tails. Yeah. Like fairy tales, right? Oh, oh yes. yeah. Yes, yes. Cool. absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. This summer, travelers will get to visit a fairy tale world known as Simulanka. In this world, Nilu will get a new outfit and a new identity. Oh. That is so exciting. Oh, okay, oh, sure. Awesome. Yes. It's going to be so good. Now, Kiara. Kiara. So, I'm guessing Simulanka is the new they summer didn't show region? Kiki the book? Yep. And this fairy tale world is facing all sorts of crises. Travelers will discover a giant footprint shortly after entering this oh, world. Oh, well, we know what that's about. <gasps> oh, oh, my, my gosh. Goodness. Whoa, whoa. That footprint is huge. <laughs> Wait a second. Right? <laughs> You'd have to be massive to leave a footprint like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Oh, and if you follow the <laughs> footprints into the depths of the region, then you might be able to find some clues. Origami animals live in this forest, so you might be able so to get cute, some valuable actually. information from them. Ooh. Ooh that's helpful. Mm -hmm. huh. They're so I cute. notice some of the animals look off color. Yes, they do. Very perceptive of you. Some of the origami animals are in big trouble. The color <gasps> no. of their paper is fading. Oh, I know. Oh, no. it's so Look at poor babies. So travelers will need to work together with their friends to revitalize the forest and help those animals oh, solve the crisis. Oh, this is actually really cute. Oh, oh my gosh. I will this do anything to help the origami okay. creatures. I love Absolutely. them already. <laughs> I know. 100%. I want to take anything. one home with me. Yes. But, okay, <laughs> travelers won't That's have cute. to face these crises alone. They'll receive help from okay. all sorts of companions during their journey. Hey, in there's the outfit. Hey, it's Kirara it in her new outfit. How cute. And Navia. Yes. Navia. Oh. Ah. And there's Hat Guy. Hat Guy. <laughs> Scarmouche. Or in my if game, Soma. If travelers Soma. are interested in seeing how the events in Simulac unfold, then be sure to check out the summer region during the new update. Okay, well, since Kirara is wearing her cool new outfit, can we take a closer mm -hmm. look? Yes, please. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what I've been waiting for. Yes. Scaling walls, leaping across the rooftops. <laughs> Nothing new for me. Cute. Cute. Very cute. I like it. I think it's cute a lot. But... Won't I get funny looks from people if I dress like this on a delivery? <laughs> cute. Oh, I love that. The, the light so 2D cute. is really so cool. Cute. I know. Oh, Wait, is she supposed so to be a cool. phantom It looks like she's ready for an adventure. Hat, 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 hat. Oh, yeah. Hat, hat. Yes. She oh, it's adorable. Yes. <laughs> phantom yeah, and goods. Yeah, it's like she's a phantom thief. The all complement Kirara perfectly. She's really giving me like a strong impression of a vigilante who comes out at night. <laughs> you know what I'm talking yep. about? Oh, you yes. better watch out. <laughs> That's so cool. Well, best of all, travelers will be able to obtain this outfit for free. Wow. Yes. Excerpts of bliss will be scattered throughout Simulanka. Travelers will need to collect jubilant feathers and I, 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 I just say I think I to like obtain Kiara's excerpts of bliss. Bit After you've collected enough of these excerpts, Travelers can obtain Kirara's new outfit Just because the free. theme of it. Plus, Ooh. they can also get Primo gems and other rewards. Yes! I don't use oh, Kirara in awesome. battle at all, but this outfit is very cute. I the minute 4.8 goes live, collecting excerpts of bliss so I can get my hands on that outfit. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Oh, it puts yes. a little mask on her yeah, uh, cat yeah, form. Yeah, you oh, can count me in. Oh, I love it. There's so <laughs> much That's really cute. I should really like it. You think so? Well, there's even more content in the Big <gasps> Summer Update. Uh. No. Yes, there's Oh, more. you can get... <laughs> Simulanka has a bunch of fabulous events that everyone can enjoy. Oh, really? Let's hear it. Oh, you got it. Actually, Travelers can look forward to too, four different kinds of gameplay in Simulanka, and they all follow a unique theme. Ooh. The first is called Boreal Flurry. Hmm. Okay. Travelers will have to move through streaming currents and destroy targets to score points and earn rewards. Cool. Destroying special targets will fun. even produce unique I'll effects. I'll enjoy that for like five minutes. <laughs> I really, really, really love to say more, but however long it takes we'll me to let complete travelers it. experiment with them in the game. <laughs> Ooh, oh my gosh, this is so cool! It's like we get to shoot at things mid-air. Oh, That's purple, awesome! Uh, right? So bar. cool. Oh, okay. Next up, we have flying hatter's trick. 
Travelers can use a flying hat to attract oh. toy figures, oh. allowing them to score points in a variety of different game modes. Oh, is that hey. Mona's hat? It, it looks, looks like, like a claw hat. machine, just like the ones in the arcades. <laughs> yes. Oh. Exactly. I am still terrible at those. <laughs> oh, you're going to be good at this, though. I can I do hope. this. This doesn't look that hard <laughs> so at all. Thank you for your belief in me. <laughs> the third gameplay is called Metropole Trials. Travelers will need to form two teams to complete a combat trial. Defeating opponents will accumulate valor. Filling your valor energy bar will trigger a time for valor, which grants buffs to your team. Oh, nice. Defeating opponents while a time for valor easy. is active easy will earn even more Super points. Super easy. Oh, and travelers who take part in these three events will earn star sale coins. In figurine fabrication, travelers can insert these coins into gotcha, the Gotcha, gotcha, more gotcha, 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 gotcha. <laughs> Hopefully that makes it even easier oh, for travelers to remember their journey. That's so oh, fun! What a cute origami oh, hamster! More gotcha! Dude. More that gotcha! A little guy! <laughs> Just a little guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, after travelers have used the fantastical fabricators enough times, they'll be able to invite Kirara to their team uh, and claim special rewards, including more prima gotcha. gems and serenity. And my gotcha games. game. <laughs> oh, and travelers can display their figurines on good frames, oh, both inside their serenity pot I like the and around frogs. Simulanka. But don't worry if you don't receive and the figurine the that you want. They're cute too. You can also gift and trade figurines with your friends. Cool. Yes! Oh, that's a relief. That's oh, awesome. awesome. Yes. That's so cool. Ah, it sounds like the summer region gives us a lot I'm excited. to look this forward fun. to. I'm, I'm more excited mm -hmm. about Scar Musha what else in version 4.8 has in store. Oh, oh, okay. You've got perfect timing. Oh, all right. Let's take a that? look at the rest of the events oh, in version this... 4.8. No, all right. Yes. Oh. oh, first up, we're introducing the Imaginarium Theater. A once blank canvas has been sitting in a corner of the theater lobby, but now. Vibrant colors have emerged on okay, its surface. Okay, what is this? Oh, this new already additions to this mode game will mode? launch in version 4.8. Nice. Five envisaged echoes challenges will become available in version 4.8. Wow, we're already adding Each on. challenge will correspond to a designated character. Hmm. Travelers oh. will receive oh. two keys of echoes upon entering the oh, challenge. Oh, this! And each oh. challenge requires two keys to unlock. How cool! If okay. you complete the challenge, then you'll be able to obtain the corresponding character's echo cosmetic Hell reward. Hell yeah, cool. Yay. <laughs> yes, and Give once you've Kaya, it, you want to its fuckers? character, they'll have a unique trailing effect while they're That's sprinting. Cool. Oh my god! I like that actually. Duke's echo detail. looks like flaming feathers. That's so cool. Oh. Yes. And Chi Chi's echo seems to give her ghost companion. That's cute. Honestly, I feel Ooh. like that's something that Hu Tao would be super interested in. <laughs> Chi Chi run, yeah. right? <laughs> run, Chi Chi run. <laughs> uh, hold on. I have a question. If we only start off with two keys, then that means we can only unlock one challenge, right? Mm. Are there any other ways to obtain those keys? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Travelers can receive one key from each season of the Imaginarium uh, Theater where they complete and finalize a combat performance. Fuck, in they really are higher. incentivizing you to oh, do that. Oh, okay, is good. so you can't unlock those echo rewards in one go. Ah, oh, Drag. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I know, so take That's your good time, that everyone. they're expanding more There's that because no like, a lot of this rush. is it's not sort of going long time anywhere. players who kind of like that kind <laughs> oh, of shit. By the way, and if you don't care you about that kind of shit, then the you're not going to do that. Designated I care, character. I think that's cool. You're also going to have to pay attention to the character level and friendship level requirements. Oh. The participating character must be level 90, and their friendship level must be 8 or higher. Wow, okay. Just how well you truly know your characters. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, they're definitely. <laughs> the and I wonder Echoes why they're doing this. It doesn't just this. test how well you can use a character, but also how well you understand their skills. Each challenge has specific mm. obstacles, and you'll only be able to pass if you fully master the character's skill mechanics. I wonder why they're mechanics. doing this. Oh, that's awesome! Oh man, There's I'm so excited. There's two possibilities here. One, because so Wuwa is breathing down their neck. Two, <laughs> they're setting up for look something big. To a ton of events happening in Fontaine. Bing, bang, yeah. Travelers will get to meet an enthusiastic scholar before? in Romaritime Harbor, which allows travelers to play Bing, Bang, Finchball. Thanks, Bossima. Bossima and Finchball seems to remind me of something. Oh wait. Wasn't there also a Bossima in version 3.8? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's right. The Bossima we met last year was a Hydra Idolin replica of a human who once visited the Valeria Mirage five centuries ago. Oh, she invented yeah. the earliest version of Finchball. The Bossima in Fontaine is her descendant. Oh. Wow. 
That is such oh, a neat connection. Yeah. Okay. And since so much time has passed, I'm guessing that we'll get to experience a new kind of finch ball. Exactly. Cool. Travelers will still <laughs> yeah, need to launch finch balls thing. into target zones in order to score points. But these new stages will have rival finch balls. Oh. Rival oh. finch balls will make it harder to score points, so travelers will need to strategize based on the situation in front of them. Ooh, oh. I like the new changes. Mm. I'm excited to try the new finch ball. Agreed. And that's not the only new addition. This version also has a co-op mode. Yay! Oh, yay! Yay! That's so oh finch yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Travelers uh, can freely choose their level while they're in co-op mode. Each level has different terrain characteristics yes, and types of finch so balls. Yes, that's so fun. Players will take turns launching finch balls, and the person with the most points after four Shut rounds will up. win the match. I love that. That's that so sounds fun. That's really fun. No matter who wins or loses. Totally. I mean, look at these little guys. Look at the little finches. They're so cute. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. That's so fun. Right? Oh wow, they Speaking suck. Speaking of cuteness, does everyone still remember Asagiri's ah, photo taking commission? Uh, God damn it, the camera of it. Yes. Fuck. <laughs> Not the camera of it. <laughs> Asagiri has made her way to Fontaine, but this time her photo requirements aren't as strict. Oh. Travelers okay. can easily satisfy the commission requirements by submitting photos of their favorite characters. Oh. Shit. An interval okay. timer mode. Has well, Kaya, guess been where added, you're gonna be. Making it easier for travelers to capture their characters in the perfect moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to see what all the master photographers are going to come up with. Guess what? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I we'll mean. also have the opportunity you know. to meet up with Hosseini and Fontaine. And he's brought an upgraded energy amplifier oh, good. with All him. these little events Wait, give me a lot of primo gems for Natlin. Energy I wonder if we're getting the Natlin graduate? teaser after all this is over. Does, does this Please give us a Natlin teaser. Please. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I, um... <clears throat> Scientific research is filled with obstacles. <laughs> this <laughs> time, Hosseini has integrated the energy amplifier with Fontanian technology to create the Hosseini amplifier. Cool. And he'll Good need our help him. to test it out in combat. Listen, if we can help him finally graduate, I am definitely <laughs> in. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> no, totally. So in yeah, each this stage, event is fun. travelers will need to form three parties to participate in three consecutive rounds of combat tests. Mm. Oh, okay. Each party member will provide a fixed amount of motive force based on their character level. Mm. Motive force can be used to set up ley line effectors, which grant buffs oh, in combat. Okay, so they oh. did change it a little, the same character can be assigned in multiple parties. But repeating characters won't provide motive force in subsequent uh, okay. combat trials. Okay. So you better keep that in mind while you're forming your teams. Oh, okay. fuck, they, they suck. It. You have three so seconds left, my dude. We need You're to make sure that. that each party has enough motive force to receive combat buffs. That way we can obtain a higher score. <laughs> exactly. Once you've configured all the buff slots for a single party, you can also choose a buff to apply across all your parties. All right. Travelers will have to experiment to determine the best setup for them. Awesome! Okay, is anyone else here excited oh, hey, about card games? Look at that. Cool. I know, I, I know that I'm excited about card games. <laughs> so, in version 4.8, a couple of old friends are being added to Genius Invocation TCG. New monster cards. Man, and I wish I played TCG. I just don't have the also, care. Yeah. Overflowing Mastery event is returning in yes. version 4.8. So don't miss out. Let's go. All right, that's all the event-related news that I have right now. So next, let's talk about system optimization. Oh, all right. Well, what you got? Sarah's on a roll today. <laughs> thank you. What thank you got you. for us? <laughs> okay, first <laughs> off, the encounter points system has been improved. Oh. In version 4.8, excess encounter points earned from daily activities can now be stored. Oh. Travelers oh, won't excellent. have to worry about them going to waste anymore. Oh. Okay, so how do we use the points that we've stored? Well, travelers can convert their long-term encounter points into daily encounter points by spending original resin. Um, Long-term encounter points will be reset during every version update that ends with point zero. In other words, the first update for a new region. Okay. That means the first reset will occur in version 5.0. Wow. Sweet. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. You can spend them immediately. So cool. Yeah, or you can save them for a rainy day. That gives travelers a lot more freedom. Ooh, also, the cooldown for all world bosses will be reduced to 10 seconds. Hell yes, mm -hmm. thank you. I know. 
That should make it a lot easier to farm materials. Thank that you, God. That shit was always so annoying. You'll be able to convert oh, encounter door. points even faster now that cooldown periods are shorter. Thank that's God. Super convenient. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, we've also got new optimizations for travelers who love to follow the game's stories. Oh. We will now have a one-click hide UI feature, which will hopefully provide a more immersive experience. In addition, oh my God. we'll be getting a new feature that allows travelers to review dialogue, text, and audio in their current conversation. Thank you! So These are good about changes! Missing out on any details. Oh, thank goodness. Ooh, <laughs> that is perfect for travelers who like to take screenshots and travelers who like to analyze That's actually dialogue. very good. Oh, you can look forward for a gotcha to a game, bunch of sure. other optimizations in version 4.8. Mm -hmm. Some domains in Mondstadt and Liyue will be adjusted. Oh. Travelers can choose to lower their world level once they've reached world level three. Oh. The difficulty of the license to glide quest will also be lowered. Just to name a few. Oh, oh. yes, that will be what so good. What did people have issue with that? Players. That shit's so easy. It'll be easier to pass Amber's gliding test. <laughs> well, that shit was easy. What you on about? But be sure to keep an eye out for future announcements to learn more information. Hmm. Well, uh, we hit everything, right? Actually, All right, show we me still have some more information to share. But <gasps> first, let's display the final redemption code. Oh. Dun, da, da, da. Show me Natlin! Show me Natlin! Show me Natlin! Show me Natlin, you fucks. Show it to me. Show me a little bit more. Give me a little bit. Give me a little bit. Come on. I want to see a little bit. I want to see a little bit more than what you gave us last time. I don't think they're gonna show us any characters. I'll be shocked if they do. I don't think we're seeing any characters, especially not the Pyro Archon, but if they do, I'm gonna be fucking surprised as hell. But, show it to me. Show me fucking Natlin. <laughs> Come on. Please, 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 please. That's really cool though. I really like that outfit. It's very cute. <laughs> But come on, show us Natlin. Please, 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 please. I'm begging you, Kenshin. I'm begging you. I'm excited. I'm excited for Natlin. Fuck, I can't believe we're already going to Natlin very soon. That's insane. Actually. It's like, if it was like just yesterday I started this game, so it's like, what the fuck, we're already at Natlin? What happened to the time? Where'd the time go? Okay. Welcome back, travelers! Hello! Hello. Welcome back! <laughs> Welcome back! <laughs> Alright, let's get straight to the information that I promised. That's not Natlin. Oh, whoa, what's that? It looks so cozy. I want to uh, be there. I cute. know, right? What is this? Okay, <laughs> listen carefully, everyone. I have uh, an important mm -hmm. announcement. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hoyo Fest is coming soon. <gasps> yeah. Yay! Cute. Cute chippies. <laughs> For those of you who might not know, Hoyo Fest is an annual event that celebrates all of Hoyo versus games. Oh, so not just Genshin Impact. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah! <laughs> Starting in July, Hoyo Fest will host a series of online and offline events. By participating in these events, you'll have the chance to obtain Hoyo Fest themed merch, event exclusive gifts. Tears of Themis has never been in Hoyo Fest, rewards. technically. I don't think there's ever been like a Tears of Themis, which is really saddening as a Tears of Themis player. Posted across Genshin Impact's official Maybe this year. So stay tuned. <laughs> so exciting. We also have an exciting collaboration to announce. Genshin Impact will be partnering with one of the largest aquariums in the mm -hmm. world. Oh, that's cool. Sea Aquarium. Hopefully, travelers will be able to participate in an entirely new collaboration experience. Oh, that's cool, actually. Oh, I, I don't think Genshin Impact has ever teamed up with an aquarium before. Oh, that's uh, pretty cool, actually. Let me think. It's got to be a Fontaine-themed collaboration, right? Mm. Yes, you guessed it! Nailed it! This event will be based on Fontaine. Sijuin, the head nurse at the Fortress of Meripede, will guide travelers as they encounter marine creatures and explore the mysteries of the deep sea. That's cool. Keep an eye on Genshin Impact's and Sea Aquarium's official accounts that's for more cool. information. Oh, I think that's cool. I'm so ready. <laughs> Fish time. Fish time. Awesome. <laughs> now for some out of game genius oh, invocation TCG oh. news. Hey, Dan. <laughs> The knockout Cute. stages of Astro Carnival, the Prince Cup for the Atlantic, and Pacific Does regions. Does anyone will be actually soon. give a fuck the about Atlantic that? The Atlantic stage I will take place on July 27th, and the Pacific stage will be new held Ardidia, on though. August 2nd. Love that. So look forward to a fierce showdown between top players from those two regions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's also a little surprise in store for you all. Uh -huh. Before the knockout stages begin, all travelers will receive a commemorative card back <gasps> in their in-game mailbox. Yes. What? Let's go. 
So be sure to follow the official Astro Carnival account for more information. What? And that's not all. Genjin Impact's fourth commemorative OST oh, album, The Shimmering Voyage Volume 4, will become available in version 4.8. It will feature original Genjin Impact music composed by the Hoyo Mix team. Yay! It includes tracks from version 4.8 events, cutscene music from versions 4.0 to 4.8, and other content. Ugh. Oh, I'm so excited for it! This song's fucking me up, man. I'm gonna listen to it forever. <laughs> <laughs> Show us Natlin, you fox. All right, that's all the information. Show us I Natlin, you fox. Then that means. Yeah, it's almost that time again. It's Show time for the Natlin. special program Show to us. end. Yeah. Oh. I know. Show well, us Natlin. Well, is there anything y'all want to say before we go? Yes. Uh, I'm very excited for the costumes for Nilo and Kirara. They are so adorable, and I can't wait to see like their yes. new uh, roles that they get to play in this new event. I'm I'm so excited for this. I can't wait. I too, as an unbiased individual, am excited about that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Show us that one. But. Oh, I'm so, so excited, too, for the echoes. Like, totally. oh, I'm so down for all of this customization. And the music! Oh, it's <laughs> all so in all, the next update's Listen, looking I'm good. I'm just very excited. I'm excited. Well, I just wanted to say, I'm so excited that you all get to finally meet Emily. Yay! I really hope you like her. I know, totally. And I am super duper excited for Hoyo Fest and also for the Sea Aquarium collaboration. Yes. Come on, that man. That is so exciting Stop yapping and cool. I can't show wait to see what with that. So right. epic. Yes. All right. Well, this is the end of the special program. Thank you all so or much is for it being now? here. And yeah, I guess we'll see y'all in game. Bye. Show Bye. us. Thank you. Show Thank you. us. Bye. Don't. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. We fucks. Don't fuck us this time. Motherfucker, you're kidding me. Oh my god! A character! <gasps> Hi! Okay, interesting. Is that a mount? Is, is that a mount just specific to that character? Oh my gosh! Hi! We're seeing characters! Hi! I like that dude. I like his design. This is a child. Dad, we're getting mounts! Oh my god! I like this dude. This dude's cool looking. Uh, she's cute. I don't really care about the child. I like that dude! All that music?! Hell yeah! Okay! Okay! We're getting fucking mounts! That's insane! At least that's what that looks like, but are those specific to those characters? We're gonna find out. So what do you guys think of the special program? Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm excited for Natlin. Are you excited for Natlin? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!